Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the Lego DC Comics Superheroes Heroes of Justice Sky High Battle. So this is um, Superman versus Batman, we've got Wonder Woman, we've got uh, Lois Lane, Lex Luthor. Um, I don't know if it's Superman versus Batman, they look like they're on the same team, potentially. Yeah, Batman's flying that. So, um, newer set, I believe this came out in 2016, let's see here. Copyright, well, either way, uh, yeah, there it is, 2016, so, um, let's go ahead and get right into this, it's, um, what I would call a medium-sized set, move this down so we can see the contents, A small sticker sheet, which is refreshing for the size of the set. Sometimes you would expect to see a larger sticker sheet. Uh, we do have a large instruction book number two and a smaller instruction book number one. And of course, we have the comic book. These comic books are pretty cool. I like the fact that they don't use any words, it's all basically visual comics. And we have four numbered bags. So we've got bag four, bag three, bag two, and bag one, which is the one we're going to start with. Open the contents of bag one. We have a small bag of parts. Dump those off to the side. And we also have this little box that has some capes in it, and yes, they're both the cloth variety of cape. So these are very soft, they flow nicely, they blow in the wind, so cool capes. So we've got um, Superman, start with him. Has the red cloth cape on. Find the right head. There's the right head. So he's got a double printed face. You see, he's kind of got the angry smirk or angry grin. And the other side is the very angry grin with the red eyes. So he's shooting his lasers out of his eyes. That's the regular. Face. We'll go ahead and use that one. All right, so there's Superman. Put him off to the side. Next we have Lois Lane. face and her hair piece is oh, there it is kind of the reddish brown kind of long flowing wavy hair she is going to be carrying camera with a trans clear stud on it for a camera lens And we have Lex Luthor. So the uh, the box art shows a couple different things. So he's got the hair on in this variety. Down here in the minifigures, it shows the uh, the bald version of Lex Luthor. The instructions show the hair on him as well. So that's the version we're going with. So there we go. I guess the Batman cape will wait until we do Batman. 
He's not in this bag. So we're going to begin with the LuxCorp helicopter. We have a couple uh, plates with bars on it. Next is this piece. Attach it right on this air uh, helicopter landing skids. Have a plate. Two one by four plates or bricks. We're gonna attach a one by one plate. On the bottom of each one of the the bricks, and we only have four stickers in the set, and we're going to use two of them right now. So go ahead and get these stickers out of the way, I guess. One's a Batman sticker, and one looks like a control panel. So we may not use those for a little while. But it's still nice to have just a handful of stickers versus, you know, a Speed Champion size sticker sheet for a small model. Have a couple Technic bricks. We have a Technic brick with an axle hole. We're going to put this Technic axle pin combo piece in here. Goes there. Then we have this studless Technic lift arm. Connects back there with two of these slotted slopes. Stack two bricks. Plate on there. Two more of these Technic bricks. Goes there. Two of these vertical fins. bow shapes. Two wedge shaped wings. And a friction pin. Goes back there. Put this five long studless lift arm. Alright, so we'll put that down. We have a Little sub build. long red axle. And the Technic axles are beginning to come in different colors. In uh, 2016 they started widely using them in a lot of Technic sets. Traditionally they've been um, even number lengths have been in black. Odd number had been in light bluish gray. So, 
I think they're trying to mix in some different colors to easily tell the difference between the links. I've been building a lot of Technic sets over the past years, so the colors don't make a difference to me. I could always tell the difference between the links. Or you can just hold it next to a little brick and be able to tell what the length is real quick. So I'm still kind of on the fence on the color change, if I like it or not. All right, so our helicopter's coming together. It's making a nice shape of a helicopter now. school style flick fire missiles. These are not the newer spring loaded kind or the stud launchers. So these four have a orange stud and then the trans green cone shape. Insert two on each side on the studless beam. that. Now we have four more. That is just the trans green cone on them. And these go right next to the ones we just put on. studs and tiles. This goes here. This clips on there. Next we have our rotor piece. So that holds that on nicely. Put that on there, and there's your helicopter. So that completes instruction book number one. It also completes bag number one. So move that to the side. Here's all of our extra pieces from the first bag. Just some small stuff, nothing really too interesting. So now we're on to bag number two. All right, so this is going to begin Batman's large aerial flying ship that we see on the, the box art of this. So bag two, we're gonna begin the uh, next minifigure, which is Batman. Put his awesome cloth cape on. Standard Batman face with the Batman mask. Nothing new there. Love the cloth cape. So that's Batman. And he does have a little grappling hook weapon. Alright. Move him to the side with all the others. Falling over because he's a little top heavy. Okay, so let's begin this ship. Start with a plate 
with a tile on it. A couple more plates. that has the axle hole in them. Put them all right there. Next we have two one by two plates stacked on top of each other with a bracket. We're basically making two of the same build. these right here on the sides. There's something about these plates that they have super high clutch power. Like they're just grabbing those bricks and you can feel it sticking together nicely. I have a Technic brick with three friction pins in it. Right there. Now we have two one by three plates with a one by three tile. Repeat that right there. is a studless Technic lift arm. Two of these eight long axles. They slide all the way through. That one goes all the way through. corner plates and then we have this Lego Friends little foot panel piece. It's basically a one by two panel with the little divider in between it. shape. There's a lot of two times on these little steps. It says to build two of these. Put them both right there. Now we have a single inverted slope. So we'll move that to the side. We have a little sub build. Five one by four plates. Have some black. Cheese slopes, double wide variety. Next, we have an assortment of wedge plates.
Okay. Now, these are some pretty cool pieces. I like these. So the trans clear is supposed to be invisible in some situations, and this is probably one of them. But what it does is allows you to link stuff together that would otherwise be structurally unstable. That's more or less the purpose of these trans clear bar elements. two square tile and we're going to put our sticker number two on there. It's a Batman sticker. The Batman logo. And this is one of my favorite pieces to build. This, uh, this is a rotary stud launcher piece. And then you've got the uh, trigger element right here. And this piece snaps right in the middle there, and this is one of those uh, satisfying snaps that uh, once once it goes in there, it's never coming out, but um, the feel and sound of it going in is awesome. So here we go. So yeah, that's uh, probably uh, going to be in there forever. So we have two... Technic pinholes on the back side of it, and that lines up perfectly with these blue Technic pins. So now that's on there. We have this axle with a stop, and then we have a black bevel gear. And you can see when I turn that bevel gear, a little trigger element, that gray piece in the middle is spinning, and that's what will launch the studs. So we will drop this whole assembly right in the middle here. Put two of these double wide bow shapes on to hold it together. Bring, bring our other piece over. Snaps right in there. So instead of using a corner plate, oh, it's a corner plate wouldn't have worked. So we've got four one by two plates Go like that. slope one by three plates one by eight have some more wedge plates So we haven't even made it to the end of bag two, and we've used all of our stickers. So the rest of the build is going to have either undecorated sticker, I mean undecorated parts, or the parts will come printed on them.
because we're done with our sticker sheet. Another wedge. And we have this cool shield tile shape. This long plates. half round plate and some more wedges A sub build. We have quite a few of these hinged plate bracket pieces. by two Technic brick with two friction pins in it. This will go right here. Two by three plate. Over there. Now we have four of these two by two little sloped brick pieces. Two studs and two one by one tiles. Slotted slopes. shape. Now we're going to build the pieces that are going to connect to those hinged parts. Is there, and then that's the male side of it. And we uh, just line those up, push it down. It goes on there nicely. These are interesting. I've never seen these pieces before. So it has the windscreen built into, looks like a quarter round modified plate, and then the wedge plate down here. These slide in over here. Interesting. It leaves a gap in there. I 
I don't know if that's normal or not. I feel like this isn't all the way in. Alright, so that helped. It's all the way in now. is actually opening it. It's kind of hard to open. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. So, we've got the uh, bat plane started. We have the uh, LexCorp helicopter completed. And we have one, two, three, four minifigures built as well. So this is going to end part one. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to subscribe. Check out my other videos. Don't miss part two. And we will see you in the future.